everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Lee. If it's your first time here, thank you for joining me in my little corner of the internet. Uh, thank you guys for joining me today. As you can see, my background is finally back to what it usually is. And yeah, I just wanted to record late at night again because I'm very excited about these new Lisa Eldridge um, lipsticks. I missed out on the first launch, so I really wanted to pick up these. I, uh, if I'm being honest, I haven't watched, two, I wasn't really like aware of Lisa until the past year. But um, ever since I found out about her, I've just been very intrigued by her because she's so beautiful. Uh, she's a celebrity makeup artist and she's a global uh, director for Lan for Lancome, I believe. So um, I know some people were concerned because her brand is associated with, or not associated, but she's very associated with Lancome and Lancome isn't cruelty free, I believe. So um, she clarified in the comments, I was reading the comments and that her brand has nothing to do with Lancome and that she herself and her brand is cruelty free and some of her lipsticks are vegan. Um, I just wanna talk to you guys about all the shades first. I have this one in Skyscraper Rose. And this is the outside packaging, it's beautiful. It has Lisa Eldridge um, written, it has Lisa Eldridge written on the packaging. And then um, the shade name on top here. And then her uh, name monogrammed on the side, her initials or her brand initials. And yeah, this is what the packaging looks like, I know. Um, it's like really hard to tell what the quality is like just by looking at it on like through the camera, obviously. But it's very heavy duty. It has her, um, her little thing, her little monogram on the top right here too. It's a magnetic closure. So it's, it's it's actually really a nice packaging and it's really just beautiful. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect. I honestly kind of bought these in a whim because like I said, I'm not very, like very, uh, very familiar with Lisa's video if I'm being honest, but I've just been intrigued by her products. I really wanted to get the red uh, velvet ones after I saw them and I was really sad I missed out but this time I didn't want to miss out I, I had a feeling they were gonna sell out and they did sell out and they are sold out right now so unfortunately you can't get them but um, stick around till the end and maybe I'll show you a few dupe color wise so that uh, I don't really know when she's gonna restock or if she's gonna restock because I know her red velvet lipsticks um, are, uh, have, are not gonna get restocked till a couple of weeks from now and that's it's been like maybe four months since she like December, January, February, March, April, May, June. Oh my gosh, no actually if, if actually her red velvet lipsticks launched in like the holiday times around December, I don't remember exactly. It's been like six months since she restocked so um I don't even know if these are gonna come in back in stock so yeah uh, these retail for about $35 US and 26 pounds so yeah I think we've covered all the bases I will let you guys know if the um, lipstick specifically is vegan oh, I forgot to mention um, you also get this pouch I think if you purchase two or more lipsticks and I think um, because one of her lipsticks I think is uh, inspired by Audrey Hepburn in uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. I think that's why she went with like a Tiffany blue for her pouch and her lipstick color Go Lightly is inspired by Holly Go Lightly. But yeah, um, so I just, I guess I just start from the lightest colors to the darkest colors so it doesn't make, if it stains my lips it won't be that big of a deal. Um, so that was, uh, the first one here is Skyscraper Rose, and I don't know if you can see the texture of the lipsticks, but the te texture of the lipsticks is very interesting. It has like, like, it almost, I know these aren't supposed to be velvet, but they look like a very matte fabric, like a felt matte, matte fabric kind of, and it has like that monogram right there of her initials, and yeah, that's Skyscraper Rose. I don't even want to swatch these to be honest because they just look so freaking beautiful. Um, but I will swatch them for you guys in a second. Um, actually, let's just 
let's just swatch. Okay, so skyscraper rose. I'm just going to swatch that onto my hands. And these come in two formulas. Two of them is in like a matte formula, like a velvet matte formula. And then the other two is like a sheer kind of translucent formula, but it's, it's not like not pigmented. It's just like a very glowy kind of product. Um, and then the next one I have here is Love of My Life. And this is also a pink and has her little name right there. Very pretty pink color and I'll swatch that right next to it. See, and this is more like a, it looks like a balm when you swatch. It's a lot more sheeny and a lot more, um, Translucent. I don't want to say translucent because it's not translucent. There's a lot, there's pretty like a good amount of pigment there, but it's just more sheeny. So probably more comfortable. And then Rainbow Spill in that same like textured lip formula. And this is supposed to be like more of like that watermelon neon color she demoed in her video. The last one I'm gonna swatch is that like lucent blush. I don't, I don't even know what she calls it, but they're like a lucent formula, and it's a sheeny like coral color, pinky coral. And this is also that like balmy kind of tr more transparent formula. And that's it on my hand right there. This one right here. Okay, so without further ado, let's just get go ahead and put these onto my lips. Um, I don't know if I should use lip liner, but I do have a few like magenta colored, pinky colored lip liners I could use. But because I just want to see the color mostly by itself, um, I'm gonna try not to use it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna just start with like the Lucent formulas, just because, um, actually I'll, I'll tell you more about these. So the Lucent formula, the one in Go Lightly, is a light, vibrant salmon pink, salmon pink semi-sheer lipstick. In the bullet, this shade looks more bright, like a bright coral, but the payoff on the lip leans more towards a true salmon pink with pastel undertone. Add one swipe and dab for an easy beautifying pop of color or build to create a radiantly impactful look. This ultra mart modern, comfortable and luxurious texture feels smooth, light and pleasurable on the lips. All her lipsticks are cruelty free and the luxurious lucent lip colors is also 100% vegan. So this one and love of my life are 100% vegan if, if um, that's a concern for you. But yeah, um, that's, I f and I'm not gonna read the same thing for Love of My Life because I feel like it's like the same thing because they're like the same lucent, uh, luxuriously lucent formula. So yeah, I'm just gonna zoom you into my lips and we'll, we'll get started first. Um, I'm just gonna go without lip liner just to see how the color looks without anything on my lips first, but yeah. Um, afterwards, I can just go ahead and add a lip liner if I feel it's necessary. Um, it's like very emollient and it's just like melting onto my lips like butter. It's really comfortable. Um, I have really dry lips right now, so it doesn't look uh, like the most flattering it could po possibly look. But I like the formula and I can see myself um, like just throwing this in my purse on the go and just having this to just like wear. Um, I feel like it looks brighter than I thought. I thought this was going to be more of a coral color, but it's actually like a true pink. Um, yeah, I don't really know how I feel about that, but 
I think it's just because I'm not really like a huge pink wearer, but I do like the, how it feels on my lips. It feels like, like an oil almost. And um, yeah, I think it's pretty and like it goes with my eyeliner ring. I think, I'm, I think I just need a lip liner just because I feel really weird with that one. So I'm gonna go in with a lip liner and like I'm gonna choose like a warm lip liner. Let's see what I have here. I think I'm gonna go in with matte fully bare. Yeah, and I just like it a lot better with a lip liner. I don't know. I think I'm just a lip liner fanatic. Yeah, my lips are a bit dry, so it's clinging a little bit. Uh, just because I think just my lips are just really dry. I don't think it's like the lipstick at all. Because it feels really nice. I and I like it like way better with a lip liner. That's nice. I feel like a little angel. Okay, yeah, so this is um go lightly on my lips. Moving on, I'm gonna swatch the color Love of My Life because this is also a luxury lucent, luxuriously lucent formula like the way I described it earlier. It's 100% vegan and it's like that um, balmy kind of oily, not oily, just like more like balmy, very emollient formula. And this is in a deeper pink color. So um, just because I want to give it a fair chance without a lip liner. I won't wear a lip liner right away, but I will add it like I did before if I feel I need it. Okay. And I'm just going to swatch that onto my lips. I'm just... I just can't like with like I just feel like my lip line isn't very prominent so I just feel like I really need a lip liner so I am gonna go into a lip liner I'm gonna go into the color 016 096 from Bite Beauty it's this pretty magenta color but I do really like I don't know why but I like this color better than Go Lightly and I thought Go Lightly was gonna be my favorite Is the love of my life on my lips. And this one looks a lot smoother on my lips probably because I scrubbed off all my dead skin off. But yeah, it's not picking up on any of my dryness and I'm just perpetually dry so I don't really think it's like the lipstick's fault. I think I'm just a troubled little, a little ch troubled little child. These aren't really leaving that much color on my skin, so they're not like leaving a really bad stain on, on your lips, which could be a plus or a minus, whichever one you like, but it's not really leaving that much of a stain, which I prefer. Um, yeah, so, and my lips don't feel like really dry afterwards, it just feels really moisturized really, and that's, I really like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Skyscraper Rose which is the more matte formula. I'm gonna read this out to you. This is a insanely saturated lip color and it's an electrically modern, modern fuchsia, fuchsia pink. Why can't I speak? Okay, so pigmented and so creamy, a truly dreamy texture that glides on seamlessly and gives 100% full coverage with a demi matte finish and weightless feel. Can also be dabbed on as a light stain for a more subtle effect. All my lipsticks are 100% cruelty free. So this one, um, these formulas are cruelty free as well, but they're just not uh, vegan. So if you're, um, maybe if she restocks and you're trying to only get the vegan ones, then go for the luxuriously loosened formulas. And yeah, uh, I'm going to, again, just apply it just straight from the bullet the way it is. And then I'm going to um, add a lip liner if I feel like it's necessary.
wow this color is so beautiful but I am going to go around with the Bite Beauty um, 096 lip liner just because um, I just like a little bit more precise when it comes to the bold lip. And that is Skyscraper Rose on my lips. obsessed with this color and I'm obsessed with this formula. If the next color is like this formula, I think I'm going to love it, which is surprising for me because I was really expecting to like the Lucent. What? Lucent one's better. Uh, luxuriously Lucent one's better, but I love the way this looks. I love the way this feels. It's not drying at all, really. It's, it's like so comfortable and it's an, I don't. it feels like a creamy lipstick to me. did leave a slight tint on my lips but I don't think it's gonna be like anything so bad where if I go to like actually clean this off it'll like stain my lips so bad I have to like scrub so hard like it's fine it's just a slight tint okay and then the last color I have to try on here is the rainbow spill color and this color I'm so excited about it looks so freaking pretty and it's that same um like more matte formula like the way I just described um skyscraper rose so I'm very excited this color it looks so beautiful okay place this onto my lips oh yeah I did a terrible job of applying that though, so I'm going to grab a lip brush. Oh, that color is so fucking pretty, I can't. Okay, so I just wanted to talk about the two formulas and what my thoughts are on them. Um, surprisingly, um, I like the more vibrant colors better, which is Rainbow Spill and Skyscraper Rose. I actually prefer the more matte formula, but I think that's just like a personal preference thing. I'm just not a huge, like, just like a bomb person. I was kind of thinking that Go Lightly was going to be a bit more on the, like, coral side, but it's actually a very true, like, pink, and I don't have, like, a lot of colors that look like this, so, um... I don't think that I'm going to be disappointed in having these, um, but yeah, I just think my expectations were a little different. Wow, these stick together a little bit. No, not really. But um, yeah, so I, I'm i not disappointed at all in these, and I, I just love the Demi Matte formula more because to me, the Demi Matte don't really feel like a really drying matte. It feels really comfortable on the lips, and I can really see myself reaching for these. Uh, but yeah, all of these are, I think, really good buys, but um, they are sold out and if it's like she doesn't stop for up for another six months, I do have some uh, um, other options for you guys. Uh, these aren't formula dupes, obviously, um, but if you like happen to miss out and you really, really want like a similar look and like a similar vibe, I don't want to call these dupes because I don't, I think these are very like pretty much unique to themselves and I think that like I really don't have anything like this in my collection. I, in my head I thought I would, but like once I started swatching and feeling them, like I, I really don't have anything like this in my collection. So I, I really do feel like it, like the $35 is like reasonable in that sense but yeah whoa uh with that being said i just wanted to go over just some swatches and um similar kind of vibes i don't want to call them dupe because i really think that these deserve all the credit for being uh very unique and very impactful and very vibrant on their own yeah okay 
Um, I'm gonna just stop talking now. Um, so I feel like the closest dupe I found to Skyscraper Rose, I'm gonna swatch this onto my hand because I was just watching while my camera was um, turned off because it was overheating. And this is the more demi matte formula, but you can still see like, a lot of sheen to it. So the closest one I found was actually the Fenty Unlocked liquid lipstick so obviously this is um, more of a dry formula because it is a liquid lip um, the colors is what I'm going to be comparing here today and the colors to me are very very similar and I feel like um, you could get a very similar look with this lip paint if you had it um, the Fenty one is just a bit deeper so this is the Lisa Eldridge Skyscraper Rose, and this is the Fenty Unlocked lip pa Liquid Lip Paint. And um, yeah, so the Skyscraper Rose is just a bit lighter and brighter, and the uh, Fenty one is a bit more matte and more drying on the lips. But I will say I really do like the Fenty ones. I've worn it on my channel before. I, I'm, I love this color, and I never really thought I'd be the type of person to like wearing a pink, but I love that color, and I'm so ha happy to have it in my collection. Um, the next color, uh, I wanted to compare to was Rainbow Spill. So that's the Lisa Eldridge Rainbow Spill onto my, the palm of my hand. I'm actually going to compare it to the Lime Crime True Love Liquid Lip. And actually, it's, it's really funny. I've actually never worn this out. I got it, like, way back in the day when I, uh, like... I, I've only made two Lime Crime purchases in my in my life, and this was a long time ago. Um, and it was like right around the time that the whole like scandal, all the scandals started happening. But apparently they have a new CEO, so I feel kind of weary about talking about this as like a similar vibe situation. But um, if you really, 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 really are like, I just want to wear that color, and maybe you don't care about the controversy that much. Um, this is a pretty similar vibe, not an exact dupe, I, I don't think I can really find exact dupes in my collection, it, just because I don't really have a lot of these kinds of colors. I'm gonna let that dry down for a second. Uh, the Lime Crown one has a bit more of a ready undertone. It's a bit, yeah, it's a bit more corally and like the uh, Rainbow Spill is actually like a neon pink and I love this color. I, I don't think I would have ever imagined myself wearing this color and pulling it off but i actually feel like this is so fun for spring and and summer it's not spring anymore but this is so much more fun for summer and i actually think it's like really flattering and it's really really pretty so yeah they're not exactly the same but they are like similar vibes you know so if like you're like man i just really wish i could have had a similar color it doesn't have to be exactly the same and you don't care about like all the shit while i'm crying has done and like you're like well they have a new CEO then that's one for you but I did not purchase this this actually just came for free with like whatever I purchased that time it it was Valentine's Day I think it was around that time because true love they were giving a free like lip, liquid lip but yeah and yeah so see now that dried down I think you can tell that it's like a bit more dry like the Lisa Eldridge's one even though they're matte they're actually very sheeny like you can see that sheen on my hand okay and then honestly the ones i had the hardest times with were the lucent formulas because i don't know i don't really have too many things like this formula and i think it's just because i'm not really like i it's either like i wear a really matte color or i wear a really glossy color there's like no in between where i'm just wearing like a bomb Unless I'm at like home maybe and my lips are super chapped, which is like all the time. But yeah, I'm just like not an in-between kind of girl. I'm either like like sheeny as fuck and like glossy, like dripping off your lip hair, sticking to your lips kind of girl. Or like the very opposite, which is very, very matte. But yeah, so just bear with me. Color wise, these aren't really too similar, but I just kind of feel like same vibes. Same. If I say vibe one more time, I'm going to slap myself. Honestly... Okay, so I want to compare uh, Go Lightly first. Honestly, I thought this would be more coral, just looking at it. Um, but it's actually very 
pink which would be not surprising considering the collection is a range of pinks but yeah so that's what go lightly looks like i love that she like named this after holly go lightly's character from breakfast at tiffany's too i freaking love that movie so <laughs> yeah um and the color i have to compare to is the mac vegas volt color this is i think a cream sheen oh no it's an amplified and actually the sheeniness i feel like is actually really similar just the colors are not exactly similar at all Yeah, I haven't really purchased too many MAC lipsticks, so I'm sure there's like a closer match in MAC because MAC has so many lipsticks, but yeah, see like um, the MAC one's a lot more coral, but it has the same kind of sheen sheeniness as Go Lightly does, um, so maybe if you had like a more pink lipstick, maybe you could blot it with Vegas Fold and maybe you could come up with a similar look, but the sheeniness in these lip colors are very, very similar. So this is, um, this is the Go Lightly color and this is, um, Vegas Bolt from MAC. And like I said, it's not like the best color dupe at all, but the sheeniness actually reminds me very much of this, of each other. And actually this was like my favorite color in high school to wear. Like I would always wear this color and like a lot of, um, <sighs> warm soul blush just like all over my cheeks and like that was my look <laughs> but yeah the last one i have to swatch here to compare to is love of my life and this is the hardest one for me honestly because yeah i just don't have a lot of finishes like this um i'm actually going to show you guys by beauty radish lipstick and this is actually way more pigmented than Love of My Life, but I thought because it is like a sheeny finish, like a more cream finish, I would just lightly blot it on and blend it out so you can see what they look like next to each other. And actually, that looks a lot more closer in color. I'm going to blend that out with the brush just because um, it's more pigmented, but the tones are the same and the sheen are... I mean, the Love of My Life one is a lot more sheeny, but... Okay, so that's, that is Radish from Bite Beauty. I think I did a pretty decent job trying to come up with similar colors, but honestly, um, these two look completely different. The Go Lightly color and the Cream Sheen from MAC, I mean the Amplify from MAC. I mean, yeah, but they have a very similar finish on. So these are my final similar vibe swatches. I also have one more. Um, I bought this because I saw Patrick Tall use it on one of his models. This is one of his models, fucking Adriana Lima, Rachel, like a supermodel. Who am I talking here? Uh, so I bought this because I was uh, hoping to look like Adriana Lima, but I haven't used it yet. Um, um, this is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Romantic. So that's a uh, Maybelline Romantic Superstay Matte Ink. But yeah, um, I really try my best to come up with like kind of similar vibes, similar like color stories so that if you guys missed out, then maybe you have options to look for. Um, yeah and i think that brings us to the end of my video so thank you guys so much for watching and joining me today i really like these lipsticks i'm so excited to have these in my collection and i probably will be wearing them a lot during the summer and i'm just so glad i didn't miss out um if you guys didn't want to uh miss uh, or if you guys were looking to also purchase the red velvet uh ribbon kind of uh finish lipsticks uh which comes in the three sets that comes in stock i think like the the tw around the 27th of june so i mean not the ah, around the 27th of july so um yeah it's follow lisa eldridge on her instagram that's how i found out these were going on sale and um maybe sign up for her newsletter if you want to keep 
updated but I definitely be, will, will be picking up those reds because those reds look so beautiful on that velvet outer layer man Lisa Elder just really is all about perfection in her products and I'm as a consumer I'm, I'm really appreciative of that and I really 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 am so happy uh, with the quality and yeah thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye